Ever wondered why frogs are such great jumpers? Well, buckle up because we're about to hop into the fascinating world of frogs. Frogs, they're a bit of a mystery, aren't they? These little creatures are amphibians, a fancy word that means they can live both on land and in water. From the deepest of ponds to the tallest of trees, frogs have made just about every corner of the earth their home. But what makes them truly remarkable is their ability to leap great distances. You see, nature has equipped frogs with some seriously powerful back legs. Imagine having legs so strong that you could jump over a house. That's what it's like being a frog. Their long, lean legs are like built-in pogo sticks, allowing them to jump up to 20 times their own body length. To put that into perspective, if humans could do that, we'd be jumping nearly half a football field in a single bound. But why do frogs need to jump so far? Well, it's all about survival. Frogs use their impressive jumping skills to escape predators, hunt for food, and navigate their environment. And when it comes to swimming, those same powerful legs give them the ability to move through water like a hot knife through butter. So, whether they're hopping along the ground, leaping between tree branches, or swimming in a pond, frogs are always on the move. And those strong, spring-loaded legs make sure they get where they're going in the quickest, most efficient way possible. But that's not all there is to know about frogs. They're also masters of camouflage, have unique life cycles, and possess super sticky tongues. Plus, they play a crucial role in our environment. So the next time you see a frog, remember, it's not just a cute little creature with a funny hop. It's a world-class jumper, a survival specialist, and a crucial part of our world's ecosystem. Next time you see a frog, remember, it's a world-class jumper. Did you know some frogs can change their color? That's right. These little hoppers are not just green or brown as you might think, but a whole rainbow of shades. Frogs can be red, blue, yellow, and even purple. Some frogs, like the red-eyed tree frog, have vibrant bodies with a mix of colors. Their green bodies, blue streaks, and orange feet allow them to blend in with the colorful rainforest foliage. Then there's the golden poison dart frog, one of the most toxic animals on Earth. Its bright yellow color isn't for camouflage, but a warning to predators that it's dangerous to eat. But why do frogs have such a variety of colors? Well, it's all about survival. These colors help them blend into their surroundings, a skill known as camouflage. Camouflage is a powerful tool that can make frogs nearly invisible to predators and prey. Imagine you're a bird soaring high above a lush green forest. You're looking for a tasty frog snack, but all you see is a sea of green leaves. That's because the green tree frog is hiding in plain sight, its green skin perfectly matching the leaves. Or perhaps you're a snake slithering through the sandy desert. You're hungry for a juicy frog, but all you see is sand. That's because the desert rain frog with its sandy colored skin is blending in with the desert floor. And it's not just about color. Some frogs, like the warty tree frog, have bumpy skin that mimics the texture of tree bark. Others, like the African reed frog, can change their color and pattern to match their environment, just like a chameleon. But what about those frogs that can't change their color? They have another trick up their sleeve. They stay still. By not moving, they can avoid drawing attention to themselves and remain hidden from predators. So, whether it's through vibrant colors, changing hues, or simply staying still, frogs have honed the art of hiding in plain sight. They have become experts in the game of hide-and-seek, using their colors and textures to blend in with their surroundings. Frogs are truly masters of disguise, aren't they? Ever wondered how a tiny tadpole becomes a frog? Well, let's dive into this fascinating journey, shall we? It all starts with a simple egg, but not just any egg, a frog egg. These are usually laid in water and are surrounded by a jelly-like substance for protection, Hundreds, sometimes even thousands of these eggs are laid at once, creating a sort of bubble wrap blanket on the water's surface. After about a week or so, these eggs hatch into what we call tadpoles. Now, tadpoles are pretty interesting. They don't look much like frogs at all. They have long tails and they use these to swim around like little fish. At this stage, they breathe through gills, just like fish do. 
Over the next several weeks, something truly remarkable begins to happen. The tadpole starts to change. This process is called metamorphosis, and it's one of nature's most incredible transformations. The tadpole's tail begins to shrink, and at the same time, it starts to grow legs. First, the back legs sprout, and then the front ones. But that's not all. As the legs are growing, the tadpole's lungs develop so it can breathe air when it comes above the water, and its mouth widens, preparing it for a diet of insects instead of the plant matter it munched on as a tadpole. Finally, after about 16 weeks, the transformation is complete. The tail is gone, the legs are fully formed, and the gills have disappeared. Now we have a young frog ready to start its life on land. It's a remarkable journey, isn't it? From a tiny helpless egg to a swimming tadpole to a hopping frog, the life cycle of a frog is a testament to the wonders of nature. So, a frog's life begins as a tiny egg grows into a tadpole and finally becomes a hopping frog. Did you know a frog's tongue is not like ours? That's right, a frog's tongue is a super sticky, highly specialized piece of equipment and it's got some pretty neat tricks up its sleeve. You see, a frog's tongue is attached to the front of its mouth, not the back like ours. This forward attachment point gives the frog a distinct advantage when it comes to catching food. It can flick its tongue out quickly like a champion whipcracker, grabbing unsuspecting bugs in a snap. Now let's talk about the stickiness. A frog's tongue is covered in a thick, gooey saliva that's super sticky. When it hits its target, that bug doesn't stand a chance. It's like getting hit with the world's stickiest flypaper. This unique tongue setup allows frogs to eat a wide variety of insects, from tiny gnats to sizable dragonflies and even small birds or mice. So, a frog's tongue is a super tool for catching a quick meal. Why are frogs important to us and the environment? Well, let's jump into it, shall we? Frogs play a vital role in our ecosystem. They are like the guardians of the environment. You see, frogs have a unique job as both predator and prey in the food chain. They feast on insects, including pests that can be harmful to crops or humans. By doing this, they help control the bug population, reducing the need for harmful pesticides. But that's not all. Frogs also serve as a delicious meal for a variety of creatures, including birds, fish and snakes, contributing to the circle of life. Now, here's an interesting fact. Frogs are considered indicators of environmental health. Their permeable skin absorbs chemicals and pollutants, which can lead to health problems. So, when frog populations decline or suffer, it could be a warning sign that the environment is in trouble. Remember, frogs are not just interesting creatures, but they also play a crucial role in keeping our environment balanced.